don't know what's going on. This is really creepy. Someone calls a bomb threat. Forest, That's why they bro. evacuated the building is so Stop. Drake could get in. Yeah. I fucking love you. Hey! Hey! What you put into my head made me want to kill myself! So, you've seen part one, part two. What do you think's going on? <laughs> Right off the rip, dude, when after you guys talked in the office, I talked to him for five minutes. I just saw his eyes. His eyes were real shifty and like wide. And like he dabbed me up. And I'm not gonna lie, like I was like, dude, he's fucking crazy. Is he fucking yeah, crazy? Yeah, that's what you right said now? right away. That's what I said right away because I didn't realize the severity of the situation. I do think it's kind of fucked up to just point and laugh at somebody and be like, haha, they're fucking crazy. You know what I mean? When it's do you at, think when I feel like it's do you an think actual. That's, do you think that's what my documentary is doing though? No, I think a to, be little fair, bit. to be fair, yeah. you're aiding in that shit. The main thing you have to fucking like really drive home to him, and I think would be the best for him, is if you really fucking nail him with like, hey dude, you gotta work on yourself, you gotta save yourself, put the save in the world bullshit aside, like you should work on yourself right now. Hey Kim, um, I'm turning my phone off actually, because uh, I need to escape into reality for a little bit after I posted that PewDiePie video. I don't want to. I just want that to do what it does and let the conversation happen across YouTube. But um, if you want to stay in touch and everything, I'm gonna give you my girlfriend's number. Yeah. Oh, he has it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can contact Simi anytime, brother. Um, I love you. Uh, please tell the boys I love them and thanks for helping me through all of this, man. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up? How you doing? Good. Good, good, good. That's That's really 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 I got you a rose, my love. Hey, Los Angeles! She's selling roses. I'm gonna buy all of them. I want all of them. All of them. We just walked in. I didn't know bullshit. No, this is what we're gonna talk about. We came here. This is all real. And that's why I appreciate Kim's documentary and why I wanted to be a part of part three. I hope that you guys can see that I'm making a massive, massive, massive effort starting today to practice what I preach. Twisted Tube has been trying to get a bunch of big celebrities to come to his event. He's been trying to get LeBron James. He also tweeted out saying that Drake was actually going to be at his event. Drake was in New York during this event, by the way. <laughs> I like how it said, need 2 million viewers for Drake. Even the thumbnail of his stream was Drake's face here, okay? Actually, I think we have footage of Drake's reaction to Fusu. Wait a minute. Who are you? Drake didn't even come and it was confirmed that he was coming. I'm so upset that we even came here now. Like now I'm just like, this This makes no sense. You talked to OVO Johnny, right? When you were in Australia. Yeah. And you already talked about having this event yeah. and potentially having Drake there. I didn't mention Drake's name. I mentioned the names of the artists I knew that I could get at that time. Drake happened when I got to LA and realized Drake is in LA. That tells me this ain't no mistake. You're gonna. Did you yeah. see the news out there that you know Drake is confirming that he was never planning to perform? According to the blast, Drake never met the YouTuber. He was never booked for Fousey show, and he's never even heard of him. If I was an artist like Drake, and there was this lunatic who people didn't understand yet, and there was a bomb threat attached to it. I would be smart enough with the businessman that I am being one of the highest paid, you know, artists right. that I'm not associating myself but with this event. Wouldn't he also be smart enough just to not to be associated in the first place? No, because if the, if he had come that night, that would have been the biggest event any YouTuber would have ever pulled off. But weren't you saying that he was coming? Yes. You were saying that he was I coming. Was. Confirmed. But he just he didn't have a plan. He was not going to show that's up. Fine. When I'm in, when I- But doesn't, doesn't that responsibility fall on you though? But it, what did I, in what ways did I do something wrong when the bomb threat stopped him from coming? Was it the bomb threat? Because yes. there wasn't that many people there and I don't think Drake would have showed up with he like 1,500 have. people. And if he wouldn't have, he would have on the second one. The do you feel like you owe like people an apology for, for all these people not coming? Or not being there, or the event shutting they down. Weren't coming there, the event shut down. That was out of my hands. Why did the event shut down? Because like there was a bomb threat, but who's threat. who's responsible? Is no, Sam don't. is Sam Pepper responsible? I don't agree with anything you do, anything you stand by, how you live your life. We are not the same. I'm a fucking That's champion. Fine. No, You're beta uh, as fuck. I'm uh, an alpha. I'm a lion. You know, uh, you, <sighs> Oh, that, oh, that's Rawr. a yikes from me on that one. I hear that Sam Pepper texted you before anything went down. I... And I heard in that conversation, 
It was like, you know, he was warning you that something was no, going to happen. He didn't text me at all. And I watched his documentary of you and he was, look, I'm not here to talk about him. I'm going to be so successful in life. I'm going to be one of the world's most famous motivational speakers. I'm going to be one of the world's most notable best-selling author for self-help books and relationship advice. But the problem is Look. when you make those claims, real quick, I gotta cut you off. When you make those claims, it's like you made claims that the song was gonna get 350 million views, that you were gonna be on Did Ellen I next when week. when it was gonna happen? Okay, but you said you were gonna be on Ellen next week. Are you still gonna be on Ellen? Before we recorded, did I not tell you how I was gonna get on Ellen this Friday, but I told you I chose not to do that? I'm spreading love. I'm asking you how was your day. I'm laughing. I'm smiling but the, with you. Not every question's happy. Not things. every question's happy. But the questions you're asking, Keem, it almost feels like you're not trying to make you're not trying to make it seem like I can come out of this at all. You're No, you can. I think you can. Because you've already asked me. Drake wasn't you said Drake wasn't coming. I said Drake was. So to continue to berate that over and over, it's not gonna make me come out with a different story. You know what my, what my next manifestation is? How about I share that with you? Okay. And I'm recording it and I'm gonna release this video on YouTube next week. Okay. J. Cole is in the Staples Center next month on August 23rd and 24th. Okay. It's a sold out show. I'm not gonna post a single thing on any social media, um, any tweets. I'm not gonna make any confirmations. I'm not gonna say anything outside what I'm dropping here right now for this right here. Okay. You guys aren't gonna see me, okay? after I post this video next month, next week. I'm posting a video this Sunday, which is what happened at the beach. It's a motivational speech. Next week, I'm dropping one video and it's a message to J. Cole. And if I am not on stage on August 23rd or 24th, and before J. Cole comes out, I give the speech I intended to give on July 15th, okay? If I am not on that stage and he's on my side and I have my dog Dollar, because my dog Dollar passed away this week last year, so I'm doing this for him to fulfill the dream I promised him. If I am not on that stage, I promise you to walk away from YouTube, my whole acting career, me do, wanting to do what I want to do in life, I'll live in isolation and no one will hear from me ever again. That's the craziest statement anybody has ever heard. But I just, I'm just saying. But why, why put that out there? Like, why does it have to be that serious? Because of how much. What I if you get sick myself? and you can't be there or something, you know? Look, this is a personal choice of mine, right? Yeah. We're all meant to do something crazy. People are calling me crazy. Is it already confirmed that you are doing this? No. He has no idea of it. No one does. We, I just got this idea when I was with my girlfriend telling her because it hit me today. And I didn't say that isolation we, part until we drove here. We all get crazy ideas. We all try to do crazy stuff every once in a while. Enough to try to achieve them. Because here's why I'm That's true, that. but some of us do and we just fail and we learn that we, oh, no. well this ain't gonna work and we gotta do something if you're else. you're living in your purpose, 100%. But if you're living in your purpose, I feel, I'm not telling kids to go home right now and be like, if I don't ace this test, I'm dropping. No, it's not what I'm doing here. I want them to be patient with me. Because I promise you, Kim, I'm looking at you in the eye, make, I feel connected with you because I know- We are. I know deep down through all this bullshit, I know deep down, if I get on that stage that night, I know deep down you're gonna be like, this motherfucker, you're gonna come to me and just, we're gonna have that moment where it's like, deep down I believe it. I, I think I would be impressed. Here's the best part about it. I'm not tweeting. No one's gonna see me. No, after that video, no, no Twitter, no Instagram. But what if this comes out, right, and people, start bombarding J. Cole and they're like, don't let food, you know what I mean? Then that's, that's, I don't get, the reason that's not gonna affect me is the reason I'm getting rid of my phone. You I upload it. to see that. So all I'm gonna do all day is meditate for a full month without lifting a finger. I'm not gonna make any effort. We're gonna make a documentary on it that shows me every day sitting down, not lifting a finger. And all I'm gonna do is tell myself in my head, on August 23rd and 24th, I will deliver my speech in the Staples Center Arena to a sold out crowd. Why do you think so many people online are not connecting with your message? Because it hasn't been done yet. I'm thinking in a consciousness that hasn't happened yet. And that's why it's like, we don't like to do that. So if you told me right now, I know a way to make world peace. I would look at you like, you need to the fuck out of here. Right, of course. But if you saw that for yourself, you saw a consciousness that I couldn't see yet, but once you did it, you unlocked my greater giant. 
Has any of your friends, all right, anyone close to you, your girlfriend, your family, Adam, anyone here said, you need to slow down? Tyler Perry, this morning. And that's why I decided to give up my phone. So I called Tyler venting this Right. Morning because I call my mom first thing, mama, I say this with love, we've already fixed this issue, because this is serious. So your family also felt like so you were going a little crazy, okay. My dad flew down. Right when my dad got in my hotel room, I called Tyler, I said, hey Tyler, my dad is here, can you talk to him? I let them have a private conversation, Tyler tells me what he says afterwards, he goes, I know. I know what it looks like, but I promise you, your son just doesn't know how to harness the energy yet. So the only thing you can do for right now, for him, do for him right now, is trust him, and I will protect him. What if, what if Tyler Perry's crazy too? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. Which is actor in the world. Not which is black actor, which is actor in the world, man. More than like Will Smith? Yes. I didn't even know that. Yes. My mom has been seeing what's being said on the internet, and this broke my heart. My mom goes, Yusuf, are you hallucinating or do you have three meetings? I hung up on my own mother. I called my dad and I go, Baba, I told mama I have three meetings today and I listed exactly where the meetings were, what time and what they were for. Right. And I was like, my own mother called me crazy. And all he did was he was like, Yusuf, please just breathe, try to understand. Right after that, I called Tyler and I'm going off. I'm like, what the fuck, Tyler? I go, I can't even convince my own mother that I'm not crazy. And he goes, Yusef, here's why she's right. He wasn't saying you're crazy or hallucinating. He goes, the, this, the problem that everyone's having with you right now is you're doing things and you're saying things, but your energy is not where it needs to be. It's way too high. You're going way too fast. You need to live in your real life. Put on the brakes. Stop trying to do things by a deadline. Is, is that the same thing as like, you know, a manic episode? Like, oh, if you're manic, aren't you gonna be like way higher than you should be? And maybe that, like right. maybe there's some truth to that. Maybe, maybe there is truth to me being manic. What made me finally wanna come back to FusiTube was to introduce them to me and announce and cry and say, I'm getting off medications, y'all. Right when I get off the medication, it's like I'm thinking for the first time again. Right. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing in your basement? What the fuck? It's like I didn't know I was there. Medication is a fucking trip, man. Lexapro and lithium really takes you out of your body and it really stops you from being who you are. Oh my God. I'm gonna give you a clip. You don't have your phone. No. I better have that clip because I smashed my original iPhone um, when, I, when I realized the song's gonna come out. Oh my fucking God. I'm outside of the club. Right when I get out, I'm holding my phone. I'm crying in the middle of the street screaming. I'm sending a video to Drake and the person who gave me his number who gave me the nod that he was gonna come. Okay. And I'm screaming and I'm like, they doubted me. They doubted me. I'm talking to Drake. I go, Drake, I love you as a brother. This is bigger than me. This is bigger than you and I love you. And when we see each other again, I'm gonna tell you I love you because of God. I sent that. So if I show that to the world, I'm not showing that to prove anything. I guarantee you people are gonna say. Didn't you post that video? No. Okay. That was when I was trying to meet Drake when I was having fun. I have a video where I'm crying and I'm thanking Drake for coming to a number that I saved under my phone as God's plan from Drake's crew. So how does that, what is that supposed to prove? That what, you met him? No, yeah, yeah. If I'm sending him a video of thanking him personally, talking about right. how I came up to you, because I tell the story in that video, I go, bro, da, da. like, I, I didn't even, have I even told the full story really, right? I mean, you told the full story on the, when you were on I No did. Jumper. So everyone leaves the club. No one's there except for Drake's, like, own crew. You gotta understand, Andrew. Drake's own crew is like 60 people. I look back into the crowd, Drake's team moves, I get my first vision of Drake face to face from like 20 feet. Next thing I know, Drake's coming closer and closer and closer. He hugs, I believe it was Joel MB, two inches away from me, I'm staring at him in his eyes like this, hungry, knowing that I left my house that night saying I'm gonna meet Drake like a crazy person and literally Adam, I'm this close to Drake. 
But instead of taking that moment to be like, Dre, can I get a picture? This is going to prove all my haters wrong. I accepted that it already was done. As soon as Drake moves and makes eye contact with me and I stare at him, I see the, his second right hand man and he nods at me like this. I walk out with him, I go, what's next? He goes, brother, take my number, I'll tell you all the details tomorrow. I did it, I was hyped. So I you said, didn't meet Drake, he just looked at you. What does this make us as YouTubers look like to the outside world? You want me to answer that? <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck am I trying to prove credibility for? To Is everyone. That, but what does that say about me? What does somebody else's opinion say about me? I know my truth. I know I was face to face with Drake. I know I pulled this off. I know I'm gonna be in the Staples Center. And if not on this, I just, I know shit. Baby. Lucy, 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 Energy, baby. My dream is to become the richest person to ever live on this earth. The reason why I want that money is because I want to devote my entire existence and life's purpose to getting money and giving it to other people around me. Are you trying to uh, w like show everyone that you're a good guy? Like, Why not just do good stuff without posting it on social media? But that's what I'm announcing right now. Because you got a lot of criticism over... You know, yeah, the sick the kid with the ca cancer, right? I, oh, and I, oh my God, that one still pisses me off to this day because I'm still in touch with his father and he's the one who kept me strong and said, don't you ever listen to these toxic fucking people who think that you came to meet my son who loves you, who I sat on his bedside crying with as we watched you. Don't ever allow them to think that you weren't my son's angel. That's why I don't give a fuck what anybody says about that. That shit drove me crazy. Shame on all of y'all, and I'm not scared to say that. Rest in peace to Efren Ortiz. Don't sweat the small stuff. A kid fucking dies from cancer, but you're so fucking negative and toxic that you try to spin it to make it seem that I used him to protect my image. Shame on y'all. You should have been trying to help me. You should have saw me start to go fund me. You shouldn't have wasted your time trying to make me seem like a bad person. I want to awaken the giant within each and every single one of you to the point that even if they say there's an illness on this earth that doesn't have a cure, because of your belief in yourself, God will grant you that cure. That's it. That's my mission statement. From this point forward, you're not gonna see me doing that shit. You're not gonna see me on social media. All my moves outside of this one that's gonna catast cause a catastrophic effect for my life, all of them are gonna be made in silence through my friends and family. Even my mom is gonna reach a, a number of a phone that my girl has. I'm gonna protect my mental health for one scheme. They, comments ruin me. I wouldn't waste any of your guys' times, but Floyd, I know you're a businessman. I know you are, and I have the proposition of a lifetime. July 15th, I'm throwing the- Oh, I gotta tell you how I met Floyd Mayweather. What's with all the name dropping? Because it's happening. Right? Can we so get to it? Good. It's yeah. like, so look, look. every time you talk on social book, media recently, book, it's like thoughts. this this famous person, this famous person, this famous person. Happened. Just because oh, I told myself but, it was going to happen. But even if I it, had the boss tweet about it, bro. Look, but if I tweeted and I said, I've done this before. AJ hey, Cole, I want to meet you. AJ hey, Cole, I want a picture. The reason people don't mind that I say that is because I ain't dreaming big. AJ hey, Cole, I'm going to be on a song with you. AJ Cole, on your KOD tour, I'm opening up for you and delivering my speech. The first dream that was just meet him and get a picture and the dream about doing, it's the same exact thing if we understand that if in our thoughts, we tell ourselves there's no limits. However high you so want to go, So what you, you just go. said is that like- That was my message to J. Cole, because it's gonna happen. I'm that gonna right there is gonna happen? That was my manifestation, I'm declaring it to the world. People are gonna give this thought energy. People who wanna see it happen are gonna think about it. They're not gonna see me for 20, 33 days. And the only time they're gonna see me is if I walk out on that stage. I won't even tweet and say I'll be there. I won't even tweet and say I'll be there. If I make it onto that stage, King, 
I'm not gonna say, hey guys, I did it, and say, come here, post this, fuck y'all, I did it. I'm gonna literally, is there a camera? I'm gonna literally, dead ass, the day of the show, go to the show, I'm gonna be wearing a shirt that has Dollar's face on it, okay. rest in peace, I'm gonna be barefoot, I'm gonna walk out on that stage, and I'm gonna say, on July 15th, I had a dream, and I'm gonna deliver the speech I wanted to give on July 15th. But let's say you don't get, none of this happens. But why would I allow that to be my reality? Why would your fear be my reality? You see what I'm trying to wake up? But what people? if your reality? Oh, camera guys. But what camera if your guys, reality you isn't reality? Are you scared, not scared to share what you want to do in life? What's the biggest go, dream you fucking have? Go for, go for it. Go for it. Tell him. Can you sit here? The camera's fine. Can you sit here? Watch this, can you? Let me okay. show you what I'm going to do. Uh, dude. Let me show you what I'm going to do on my tours 100%. and stuff. 100%. What's your name? AJ. AJ. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Florida. What's your family situation like? Um, they're in Florida. I just moved here recently for this job. What were you desiring to do? I wanted to make movies eventually. Uh -huh. So I, you know. So you figured, told yourself you wanted to make movies. Yeah. So where is in life the life of the movies? It's, here. it's, it's Los here, Angeles. Yeah. So you grew up loving to make movies, loving to do stuff. So in your thoughts, you would be like, I want to make movies. And you thought that you would get there probably three years ago, two years ago, or you would know what you were going to do, but it didn't happen because it happened on God's timing. And all of a sudden, but, but, a big ass but, but real quick, if I could oh, interrupt. <laughs> but I got to interrupt here. You can't look at the at the finish line and then go back and say, Don't you know, right he had a dream. Uh, He's already here. I'm going to sign a copy for my book to him. He just doesn't get the law of attraction. He doesn't get why, I'm, why I am so successful. I'm going to use this voice that you're hearing me right now. And you got my brother the best seat because I'm staring at you in the eye. Because my words are going to be worth money one day. Because my books are going to be bought by millions. My tours are going to be worldwide. My speeches are going to be trending on TED Talk. They're going to translate my speeches in every single language across the country. I'm going to have money out the motherfucking ass. I'm not going to make a hundred million. I'm not going to make a billion. I'm going to make a trillion. There's shit happening in my life. People I'm meeting. Every celebrity I've met. All the connections I'm making. Arab investors working with me now. So you think I'm gonna let somebody talk me out of this dream? My team is filming a documentary. They're doing a two-person crew on the night of July 15th at the Staples Center. I don't, um, I'll pay you whatever Cloudhouse wants me to pay you. I want you to be a part of my crew to document this journey. Because you sat here with me and I did it. If Kim allows that, because you uh, I allow it, I allow it if he wants Yo, to do it. How much do you want me to pay you to be in this? Uh, to help with this documentary. Ask for a million. Is it one day of work? It's two hours of work. Two hours of work? On July 15th, and you're gonna get the experience of J. Cole concert and be backstage to the show. I can't ask for a million. <laughs> Name the price. Name the price. Yo, you gotta so, believe, so, dream. Yo, wait, he's saying the right thing. Is there limitations in life? I just don't want to take advantage. You're not taking you know? advantage of a position God put you in. Why shut down life blessing? I was making $350,000 a month just from YouTube. That's before my brand deals, that's before my movies, that's before my investment. And you know what I did? I tweeted to the world and I said, oh my God, we make so much money. Why are they giving us so much? God took all of it away. The only money I made during the last year was from Twitch and it was donated from the people because they were keeping my dream alive. Shout out to everybody watching on live stream. Name your price. He isn't selling, telling you to set a limitation. You are. Why are you limiting yourself? Just Name your price. Hours. His Where? price is his movie. Name your price. <laughs> my, my price is his movie. Say it. Say it. I mean, it'd be awesome it's Say to it. make a movie, you know? But if like, you let me, I'll fund your entire movie. I, I would let you. <laughs> I would definitely let you. I want you to write in paper so I can go to my lawyers that after I'm on stage and I make the money and I have it, I'm going to fund your entire movie and I want nothing out of it. I'm going to change the world. Tonight you met Yusuf Sawa Arqad, the world's most famous and renowned and best-selling motivational speaker. I will be on the Ellen Show, I will be on stage with J. Cole, I will be having dinner with DJ Khaled, I will be in Diddy's house, I will do everything I said. 
I will throw an event called Hate Dies Little Rives 2, and Drake will headline. I love you so much. And that's that. Okay. Thank you. Are you really gonna fund this movie? I swear to God on my life, you put it in writing, I'll get a lawyer and I'll sign it. Listen, okay. I'm gonna do it. Just listen, Yeah. okay? Let's say you go and talk to the therapist, which you're 100% doing, right? 100%. It's right. And let's, it's say, really let's say you are having a manic episode, you're over-promising things, Understood. you're over-selling stuff. Yeah. Should you still fund his movie? Yeah, even though I'm still a millionaire. Yeah, but you're not sane. Like, well, you're not 100% oh, normal, but right? it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna regret giving him money. Team, I swear to God I don't care about money, dog. Like, I've made millions, dog. It didn't make me happy. If when I learned, like, when I got to the point, because I did care about money, bro. Of course, money, of course. $350,000 a month. I'm walking into Rolex, buying whatever I want, doing whatever I want. I got sucked into that life. But you know when I realized money ain't shit? It's when I had millions of dollars in my bank account, but I was still sitting alone in my house suicidal. So look, I had trouble explaining my message. Tonight I went a thousand different ways. Yeah. But I told you in the beginning, if you just hang out with me, I really feel like we'll get to the crux of what this is all about. And thanks to you, who, are, who is now in my life, and I'm gonna fund your movie, and I'm gonna pray for it to be the biggest success, and I hope you invite me to the red carpet, I feel like we reached the purpose of this. I'm, tr I'm looking crazy right now, but, and I might be, but if what I'm saying comes true, y'all, just for one second in this room, because I believe in energy and I need your mind to believe in this. The craziest can, thing is that half of the shit really kinda did come true. But you still sound fucking crazy as hell. No, oh, want, want, me to get, want me to get crazier? I'm gonna end your documentary with this. Okay. Then, when part four comes out, and me and you are like talking about it, listen okay. to this, y'all. Before I announced Greek theater, when I was in Australia, I told my crew, I have a documentary that I'm gonna give you. They think I'm crazy now. There are scenes of me in my bathrobe, walking around looking for energy, manifesting shit. I look like a madman. I don't dare release that clip until I actually do it. I wanna give that to you, but- Are you actually crazy during that time? Do you, I, do you register that you were crazy? Here's what happened. Yeah, I, was, I had all the energy hit me at once and it's all happening so fast. I'm creating this song, I'm setting up this event. I had to go somewhere. I'm in that room and I say, I'm gonna sell out the Staples Center. I get to LA, I get the Greek theater, I'm hype. The night of the Greek theater happens, there's a bomb threat. I'm crying. The next morning I wake up and the second I told myself, wait, that happened because you prayed for Staples Center. Why are you happy about the Greek theater? All of a sudden Ticketmaster and Live Nation feel bad about what happened. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden Arab investors come to me. An Arab investor came to me, you know Arab money. And he said, Habibi, he goes, if you want the Greek theater, it's, I mean, if you want Stable Center, it's yours. Meaning even if I have to take my own money from him to fund my dream, people are gonna help me all because it failed. So this moment of failure, I had to accept. I told my crew, everyone's gonna call me crazy until I do it, because I've already done it. Hate dies, love arrives to at the Staples Center. Part four coming soon, because Keem is gonna come with this crew right here and document it for part four. Thank you, Keem. I personally think Tube is going through a manic episode. I think he's a bit crazy. But maybe I'm wrong, and maybe he's right. Because one thing I know for sure is he manifested all of this. Yeah, like a big all these bitches on my dick wanna fuck me and they did and you know with this shit so you know about to hit cause I'm too legit to quit uh. Lit poppy uh. Lit like a big all these bitches on my dick wanna fuck me and they did and a nigga off the lid and you know about to hit cause I'm too legit to quit 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 Tell me that she wanna mm, all the above And you know I put the glove on J Kill it right, and you know I drill it right Every time she feel it right Even though it fit it tight You know I'ma hit it right And she get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it right uh. 
Hennessy eyes, sending peace dies. Go so well together, girl, we go so well together. Nothing lasts forever, so let's be nothing forever. Baby, you the hottest, I'm the coldest, fuck the weather. Ay, did like a bitch, all these bitches on my dick. Wanna fuck me, and they did. And you know I'm with this shit, so you know I'm about to hit. Cause I'm too legit to quit. 